This is a tutorial for Yakuza Kiwami 2 on editing movesets through the fighter command underscore CFC instead of the standard way. Um, the way I'm going to do this is actually with O10 editor. Unfortunately, this is a paid program. So I'm also going to have a second part to the tutorial using HXD that I, you can skip to if you don't have this uh, editor. Um, so first part is if you're using O10 editor, you're going to need the template for Dragon Engine in the description. Um, once you have that downloaded, just open up your fighter command, which you can see I have here. I'm going to just drag and drop that to O10 editor. Now you're going to go to your template, hit run template and run the Dragon Engine Fighter Command template. Now once it's done running, you'll see the template results. It'll show Fighter Command CFC. You hit this drop down. You're going to go down here, past string data to command set table. Hit this drop down and you'll see every single command set in the game. Now, for the purposes of this tutorial, there's going to be a couple things I'm doing. Number one, I'm going to be showing me swapping out Kid Yu's knife moveset with Majima's moveset from the Majima Saga. Number two, I'm going to show me swapping out Kid Yu's moveset with uh, Akiyama's command set. And the third thing is I'm going to show swapping out individual moves through moveset editing, um, through pointers instead of editing the text strings. So the first thing I'm going to show is giving Kid Yu's knife moveset, Majima's moveset. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to Kid Yu's battle moveset, which is actually P underscore Kid Yu 1. So we're going to click the drop down. Now you'll see a number of things here. You could see uh, the list of moves, the list of weapon movesets. We'll get to that shortly. Um, the list of moves, but the first thing we actually want to go to is list of weapon movesets. So we click the drop down here and you'll see a large list, list of movesets here. Now, what we want to do is we want to find out which one of these movesets is Kid Yu's knife moveset. Now, all of these listed here are weapon movesets for the player. We can tell which one is the knife just from here for Majima, how it says P Majima weapon B, that's the only weapon he uses. So, you know, we can infer that for Kid you, P underscore player weapon B would be his knife. So what we have to take note of, we click this drop down menu and go down to command set ID. So Kid you's weapon B or his knife move set, the command set ID is 101 or 65 in hex as you see here. So we take a mental note of that. And we also take a mental note of Majima's knife moveset. The command set ID being 193 or C1. So what we have to do is we have to go to the list of weapon movesets. And we have to look for the command ID that matches up to Kiryu's. So 100 was not it. We're actually looking for 101. So we know this isn't the weapon moveset. So we continue. And now we see weapon moveset array one. This is Kid Yu's uh, knife moveset. Now, all you have to do is switch this to Majima's ID. Majima's ID being 193. There are two identical values here for all weapon movesets. Changing this one doesn't do anything as far as I've noticed, but I like to edit it anyway, just in case. So I'm going to change both of these to 193. Okay, so we can save that and test it out in game.
one second. I have a controller plug in that shouldn't be plugged in. There we go. Alright, so... I like to go to Scattered Weapons to test things. The best thing to do is actually to download the uh, sandbox of Hamurocho mod. Um, but yeah, all we do now, we pull out the knife. You can see he has the moveset. You might notice that he has his stance here. That's actually determined from another file. So if you follow his tutorial, he won't have his stance. And as such, you won't have his sway attacks. Alright. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to swap out one of Kid Yu's attacks using the list of moves here rather than editing uh, one of the strings up top. The advantage to editing pointers is one, it doesn't affect other movesets. So in this case, um, if you edit a move from Kidia's move list using list of moves, it won't affect uh, Komaki. You know, he uses the same fighting style as Kiryu, but he has a different command set. His command set is E underscore Kiryu. So in this example, all I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be swapping out Kiryu's first uh, attack in his light arm um, string with Saijima's first attack in his light string. So the thing that we need to do, we go to his list of moves, we hit the drop down, and it's very easy to read where you're, what you're looking for, because as you'll see, they actually order it by name. So light one, that is the first attack on Kiryu's light, um, light rush string. Okay, so when we click the drop down menu for this and go to move properties, you can see the pointer to the move animation. All right, so 5924, if we hit control G. Now all of this is read, uh, read in little endian. So instead of the pointer going 5924 in this order, it reads the le uh, least significant byte first, being 2-4, which is at the end, and then 5-9. So you want to reverse it if you're going to search the pointer. So instead of 2 four, five, nine, we can flip the bytes, which gets you 5-9-2-4. You can see that points to P underscore KRU underscore BTL underscore SUD underscore ATH underscore O1 underscore MD. I'm not going to be reading how any more of these animation names after that. Um... So, all we have to do is go to E underscore Saijima. Hit the drop down for list of moves. And just like Kiryu, you'll see his light one is listed as light one. So what we do is we hit the drop down, move properties, go to the move animation pointer, and Simply highlight it and hit copy. We go back to Kiryu's moveset. We go to the move properties, the pointer to the move animation. And we paste what we just copied from Saijima over to this. Now, that's, now that that's done, we could just hit save and test it out in game.
that we're in the game. You can see the first move is the first hit of Sajima's light, um, light rush trick. And we didn't have to edit any text or go over any other text in the files. All we had to do was edit the pointer. And we were allowed to edit the move. Now the last thing I wanted to go over was actually swapping full movesets. Now I'm not the biggest fan of doing this. Um, there's not really much of an advantage to it. Kid Yu's moveset is a lot more comprehensive than any other moveset on here. But what it can do is allow some uh, fun swaps, you know, just to see how the enemy's moveset functions. And you could, if uh, you wanted to, swap out Kid Yu's moveset with uh, the beta Yagami that's still in the game. That's not what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be using Akiyama just to demonstrate how limited a moveset could be that's not kid use and isn't meant for the players to use. So what we have to do is go to E underscore Akiyama, which is actually the first entry in this table. We hit the drop down and his command set ID right here is two. Okay, so let's go to P underscore Kiryu underscore one and take note of his command set ID, which is 96. Now, in this case, what we want to do is swap these command sets. Unlike changing uh, a weapon move set, the actual command set IDs have to be unique. So you can't just, for example, change Akiyama's ID to 96 or change this 96 to two. If you have conflicting IDs, the game kind of acts up. And I believe if you don't have anything listed for an ID, it automatically goes to default, or if there's a conflict, it points to default, which doesn't have much going on for it. Your character just kind of uh, goes from the battle finish stance into his uh, default stance when he's standing and he has a generic uh, Yakuza enemy walk. So you want to make sure that you're actually swapping these IDs. So I'm going to take this 96 and change it to two, which is Akiyama's enemy ID. And I'm going to go to Akiyama's ID, his command set, I'm sorry, his command set ID and change it to 96. Now we hit save here, and we test this out in game. Okay, so now that we're in the game, once again, you can still see he has the default stats, but he gets the hockey on the stream. Unfortunately, there's not much else to his moveset than that string right there. That's just his light string. He doesn't have any transitions into heavy attacks despite what his boss fight shows and then having the punches in between. And that's likely because he was programmed a bit differently than players. Oh, that's something else I actually wanted to know. His uh, keyboard moveset is a completely different moveset than his uh, standard one. So since I left this keyboard moveset alone, it's still red. Something else too is that if he made any edits to, say, um... 
as I did uh, Majima's uh, knife move set, how I changed to the default one to his. It's not going to show in this case. Um, in most cases, the command set will just have the... You know, pulling out a weapon will actually just keep whatever the command set they had, because a lot of these movesets don't point to weapon movesets. But in Akiyama's case, he actually has a moveset for most of these weapons. They're kind of just the default enemy uh, weapon sets. So not very uh, complex. Now, there is quite a bit more you can do with uh, editing the fighter command, but in terms of what you have to do to accomplish it, it's kind of complex, so I'm going to end the tutorial here. Um, if you want to edit the fighter command with HXD, please click, click the link in the description. Uh, it will link to a separate YouTube video with the tutorial for that. Alright, thank you very much for watching and take care.